Hi Aries, welcome to your High Priestess reading for 2020. <laughs> Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, as well as the Recommend a Reader shout out, which goes to the Jezebel Way Tarot. Love and support to her. Check her out. Show her some love. This is intended to be a romantic love reading, but it may resonate in other areas of your life. Lots of cards there. Ten of Swords, Page of Swords, High Priestess. Ooh. Okay. So that's withdrawing from a situation and connecting within right now as almost like an immediate response to what happened. Good Lord, these cards falling all over the place. Ten of Cups, the Empress. Thinking about your happiness and what will make you happy. Okay, reading's over. <laughs> so that it could very well be that you're processing an irreparable discovery, like something that can't be repaired. You've just found out about it or you're realizing just now that there's no going back. Could very well be about this. Okay, so uh, anyway, Jezebel Way. Hi. Hey, girl. Um, shout out to her. Show her some love and support. Uh, this could be about yours or your person's moon rising or Venus sign. It's intended to be a love reading, but it may resonate in other areas of your life. All right. What else for Aries here? Hi, Priestess. My voice hasn't been right for a week. It sounds great now, though. Um, but it, hmm, two days ago, forget about it. I have... Um, Lozenges like at the ready. <laughs> like I've got So I've got one in now. Just otherwise I get like this kind of tickly, dusty thing going on in my throat and I start coughing and it's, it's horrible. Okay, all right. Ooh, the star. Okay. Three of wands. Okay, so we got Aquarius here, three of wands. There's that nine of well, I was gonna say ten of swords. Nine of swords. Six of wands. Five of Wands, Page of Cups, Page of Wands, Justice. So this could be Libra. All right. Let me get the little guys here. Okay. Hmm. What's this Nine of Swords about? It's Nine of Swords. Because this is, it's, you're, you've been thinking for a while about, granted, it, honestly, if you pulled back because it's like you got, you got burnt and you're kind of thinking about, okay, what is going on? It, like it triggered, it kind of triggered this domino effect of thinking about, whoa, I don't want to go deal with this person about that, obviously, because they can't justify it. I mean, there might be reasons, but nothing could justify what happened. So I'm over here under myself thinking about how to go about this. And I think, um, hmm, okay. So we got the strength card there. That could be Leo. What's this six of wands about? Six of wands. The tower. This is five of wands. The sun, that could be Leo. Right now, you two need to go your own ways. This is about you pulling back and not moving forward with this situation anymore. Because I think this person secretly wanted to go do their own thing. They want what they want when they want it. Um, they like being... It's almost like they prefer to not be in partnership because they want everything to be about them. It's this page of cups. It's this page of cups. This is not about you going back and fixing this, the world. It's this page of wands. Four of Pentacles. All right. It's this justice card about. This is about you restoring justice and balance in your life and about you um, staying away from this situation. It's ended. It's over. It is not for you to go back and fix. Your person secretly wanted this ending. Um, they're much happier being under themselves right now and having and doing what they want to do when they want to do it. 
Um, this is what they wanted. And this is about you being able to pull back and go within. Why though? What's this justice about? This, okay, so we got death card there. That could be Scorpio. Things are as they should be. And this is simply somebody that the situation that you pulled back from, you're meant to stay pulled back from. This is someone that has wanted this ending for a while. They want to do what they want to do when they want to do it. This is not somebody that um, wants to work it out. I don't think they could have said that. Perhaps you suspected that, that they, um, that they were kind of causing rifts and trying to get you to end things or, you know what I mean? Like, it's like they didn't want to be the bad person in the relationship. So they were kind of setting things up, but either way, this was not the right timing for this connection, if at all, because this person's just not being upfront about what they want. They don't want the relationship anymore. They want to go off and do their own thing and kind of see the world and kind of do other things and kind of date other people. And it, yeah, we, you don't want to have to convince somebody to want to be with you, you know, preaching the choir. I know. Um, if it, this is not about one person in particular, this is about you pulling back. You kind of had a rough year last year where you were kind of the rock for someone and you were kind of holding things together and no more, <clears throat> no more. Let it go. If this is not about a relationship in particular, if this is just you having had some distance from this relationship and it's not really about that per se, but it's about you. This is about things being stable right now, finally, because you're going through a transition. Um, you're starting to see the other side of this ending. It's, you're starting to understand its purpose. You're starting to understand everything about what was really going on, about the tension. This is about you finally being in a stable position after this sort of kind of bickering chaotic mess has passed through and you were with somebody that didn't really want to be in a relationship anymore and you've let that go you're not going back to fix it good for you your intuition across the board here is telling you to stand down justice has been served no more this this relationship has run its course you would have been liberated you're free now you've got the spark um here's the spark the page of cups and the page of wands these new interests that they haven't yet these new interests have come back online it doesn't seem like a focus on dating though it seems like more social more business more self-focused um are going to be coming back online for you and this time around or when you kind of get some distance from this or have gotten some distance from this it's going to be about you prioritizing yourself and stability is going to be the name of the game for you for this year this last year was quite topsy-turvy with this person and enough is enough and this is about you um you just don't want to be involved in that anymore you don't deserve it if the person couldn't have told you i don't want this anymore and, and but they had to do all these things that would kind of show you and make things difficult that's mm -mm. so the, what else for it here is good self-care that's the empress that could be taurus or aries Okay, so whatever you're dealing with has gone on this twofold. It could be the person, but it could also be just an issue you've been dealing with for quite some time and it's just recently come to an ending within the last three months. And even though you weren't happy and it was a lot of work for you, you still stuck with it in the name out of loyalty, out of longevity, out of... It's just something you've been dealing with for quite some time and it's linked to issues from your past. Could be that it, it was about the kids. Could be that you wanted kids and this person didn't want kids. But either way, it is something that you believed in. You thought you should do out of loyalty, out of longevity. You didn't want to just give up and not try every single avenue. But they've done something recently or you've been made aware of how you feel recently to where you can't not know what you know now. And 
you might have suspected all along that um, they don't want to be in it, and you were right. They don't. It's time, and this it needed to run its course, and there's no going back and fixing this now. This is about you taking care of you, prioritizing yourself, addressing any past issues or what's just below the surface that you need to take a look at. You've got the time now to do that. It's time. This has been a long-standing issue. The thing is, is that this issue with this person has just been because you perhaps don't want to look at what your own issues are. And it's a lot easier to bicker and quarrel with somebody than it is to kind of sit in the silence and figure out your own business. You've all been there. So just consider that you it's time for you to do that. Now for the areas that I'm reading for, you're ready to do that. I think you see that this was, it's almost like the relationship pales in comparison for you finally getting the rest and reprieve that you want, but also the time to figure this out. Something was done there's been some kind of revelation or something was done to where you're ready. You prefer the solace. You prefer the silence. You prefer to examine your issues um, than to be with somebody that's just going to kind of not really care, not really be proactive or productive because it's not really about them anyway. The relationship was kind of stale and meh and you're wanting to, um, th there was nothing for you there. They weren't supportive. They didn't, they weren't in it. They didn't care. They wanted to be free. For some of you, this could be that this person secretly didn't want kids and didn't want to tell you. Could be that. Kids are featuring here, just saying. Mother, motherhood, kids. Got the pages, six of cups, empress. What else for? There he is. Six of sword. Wow. Yeah. So moving on. This is about self-care. This is about you realizing that you need to shift the focus for yourself this year is going to be about you coming back up online not prioritizing relationship but relationship with yourself uh, self-care nurturing healing restoring over time and moving on from a situation that was rooted in the past so that you can get pretty clear of this uh, if your intuition hasn't, well, it has been, that's what this reading is about for the areas that I'm reading for. I'm preaching the choir here. You're not, it's not so much that you're upset about this relationship ending so much as you're just sitting here going, well, now I've got the time I need to, to look at this issue. And there's going to come this aha moment where you realize it wasn't really, this person was only taking the focus off of what was just below the surface for you. These issues from the past that you need to deal with. And part of that is being and doing what you don't want to do just so you don't come under fire or come under like judgment or so that you're not alone. There, it, there's something that's like the lesser of the two evils. I'd rather be with this person or in this situation that's not very good, but at least I'm not X. At least I'm not X, Y, Z. At least I'm not... And that has flipped now. You'd rather be alone to deal with X, Y, Z than to be in this, you know, not so great relationship or be at that not so great job or be around that not so great person. What else for? There it is. Kind of all over the place. This is like, this is things coming to a head and you realizing that it wasn't really about this person or the relationship. It was about you needing to deal with this issue. That's what I mean. Is it about kids? Is this about kids? Honestly, we got the six of cups, a page of wands, a page of cups, a page of cups. Is this about you wanting to be with someone that wants kids and this whole thing was realizing this person didn't want kids? And I'd rather just be by myself and re-strategize how I'm going to quite possibly be a single parent. Find a way to be a parent without somebody. Is this realizing I really do need to deal with what's been bothering me and focus on self-care rather than be in a relationship right now? This is you realizing something and there's no going back now that you realized it. And it's not for you to resolve with the person. The focus is not about resolution with the person. There's something that you need to bring current with yourself that's been bugging you for a while that you need to take a look at and deal with, it's time. It is time. What could that be? What is the issue for Aries? What's the issue here? Aries. Yeah. 
Eight of Swords. This could ask what you're afraid of. What has, what are you afraid of moving forward with or not moving forward with? But it's also about getting counsel from a lot of people. It's also about um, talking to those that you trust to perhaps get some wise counsel about a situation. For some of you, that might be a place to start. We've got you needing to move on from a situation and focus on self-care. Perhaps it's also about moving on from someone that doesn't want to have kids to find them. I mean, that's oddly specific, but it could be that to have kids. But this is about getting wise counsel on how to progress out of a situation. I don't think this is about getting over a relationship. I think this is about you dealing with something that predates that relationship that led to you choosing that not so great person for the relationship because it's some kind of pattern here. And I think your intuition is wanting you to resolve that and take a break from relationships because it's about looking at why do you keep choosing the same type of person over and over again? Someone that's not emotionally available, that doesn't prioritize a relationship, that doesn't do make right choices or make good choices for the relationship. They're kind of just out under themselves or out for themselves. And you don't get anything really out of the relationship. You're not nurtured. You two aren't growing as a couple. And it could be this is a pattern that you choose people like this. And that's what your intuition is wanting you to take a look at. And that, I'm preaching the choir here. That there, This needs to be looked at and rectified. There, it's, it's time for a transformation. We got justice and the death card here. What else for Aries? It is time for you to understand yourself and to take care of yourself. A relationship with yourself, with my prayers, with your, <laughs> with yourself here. Relationship. I don't feel like the focus is or should be on that. I feel like the reason why you're having difficulty in relationship, and you know this, is because of an undealt with issue from quite possibly either your childhood or surrounding kids that you need wise counsel on to see things clearly and to take some time to finally deal with it and understand it because you keep picking the same type of person over and over again and your intuition and your subconscious is trying to tell you look <laughs> your energy signature you keep attracting this because you just need to you know go that little extra step and resolve this fully understand this and then things can get off the ground one two three Four sixes. Is that four sixes? One, two, three. I thought there was a lover's card here. Apparently not. Okay. All right. So I did that. Okay. All right. Even if it's not about kids, this needs to be about you focusing on yourself and putting the finishing touches on passing through uh, whatever issue has, has got you kind of choosing the same person over and over again, not prioritizing yourself, picking people that don't value you or your contribution in a relationship. What else for Aries? Oopsie. What else for Aries? What else for Aries? Ten of Swords. There's a Ten of Swords like it was in the beginning. Ten of Swords... And Eight of Swords reversed. Eight of Wands reversed. Ten of Swords, Eight of Wands reversed. No more going forward. No more, um, I hate to say hope, but this is just being fed up. Finally having had enough. Not wanting to try anymore. Like not losing momentum. Putting things off indefinitely because there's been an ending. And this could be fixed if you ran in there to fix it. But you always do that. You're always fixing it. And you two are bickering about being on the same page. And the thing is, they don't, as long as they can keep you fighting and defending yourself, it keeps, it keeps you both from moving forward towards the goal, which is what they want. They don't want what you want. So this is not about you fixing it. Perhaps you've realized that and you're like, this is going to be the year where I don't surround myself with people anymore that don't want what I want or don't, that I don't have anything in common with, that I'm trying to convince them of my value in this situation. I'm done with that. This is the year for you to take the back seat and to be in a receptive capacity for those coming towards you and for you to prioritize yourself and what resources you 
and what gives you life, what gives you joy, what gives you healing. This is a year of you slowing the blankety blank down and resourcing yourself and being around and talking with people you trust. This is not about you going and fixing it. This is about you putting you first this year. No more going to rescue someone else or solve or, or trying to convince or to save the day. No. No. This is you taking time for you this year. Because you've had it. You're tired. You're exhausted. And now we turn inward and we see what our intuition has to offer, which is figure out this one thing that is holding you back and talk to people you trust and work through it. You don't have to go to a therapist. You don't have to, and I'm not disputing that, but I mean, some people are about that, but it's about getting wise counsel because you can't see the forest for the trees because you keep choosing the same type of person. So if you want to figure that out, you need a sounding board to begin with at least. All right. So this is the year of you. <laughs> you need to pull back and take time for you and no, no focusing on a relationship with others right now. This is pulling back from relationship to focus on you and only surrounding yourself with um, people who are going to be nice to you, you know? You don't have to do all the work all the time. Might mean you spend some time alone. That's okay. It's better than you being where you don't want to be, having to do what you don't want to do for people you don't really like. I hope this was helpful. It was oddly not specific, but I... I feel like it's because it's none of my business what the, the past was. Like, I don't, everybody's got the past, but I don't want to be like, oh, it's about that time when, some, you know what I'm talking about. And you're just like, you're on the precipice. For the areas that I'm reading for, you're like, yep, finally got to deal with it. You know what I'm talking about. All right. I hope to see you in the next reading. I thank you for stopping by. Love and support to you. You take care.